Now to the November election, and voters will have something to look out for on the ballot. One extra question regarding the medical marijuana program in Mississippi. Voters will have the option between two choices, initiative 65 or 65A. 12 News' Anna Ferris breaks down the difference. Two options on the 2020 ballot. Both are designed to make medical marijuana legal in Mississippi. But there are differences between initiative 65 and 65A. The first was put on the ballot by petition, the second by a vote of state legislature. It is on the ballot for voters to decide is because the legislature has never passed a medical marijuana program legislatively, even though they've had ample opportunities to do so over the last decade or more. When voters cast their ballot at the end of the year, Mississippians will first have to decide whether they want medical marijuana at all. Medical marijuana helps patients cope with pain, increase their appetite, suppress nausea caused by chemotherapy, and it reduces seizures and tremors and other debilitating symptoms. Then they'll choose between Initiative 65 or 65A. 65 would be regulated by the state health department, allowing patients with certain medical conditions to apply for a medical marijuana ID card and then be prescribed. 65A would restrict smoking to terminally ill patients, require pharmaceutical grade products, and other limits set by the legislature. There's so much confusion right now about whether people are for marijuana or not for marijuana. And, and that seems to be the only focus, and especially the proponents of 65. Ed Langdon is with the State Board of Health. He says Initiative 65 plays on compassionate care for promotion and wouldn't have any state benefits. No city, state, county can charge any tax or fee to anything to do with the marijuana. We feel like we're going to be able to fix roads and bridges and education and do all these other wonderful things. None of that will occur. He says this isn't something that should fall on the backs of the health department. This is just not the right time with COVID and everything else. The health department is just overwhelmed. We're supposed to get this kicked off in eight months, have it organized in nine months. It's a daunting thought to even think that we could do that. Initiative 65 would be self-funded through user fees, which means only those who need it would pay for it. If either initiative passes in November, Mississippi would be the 35th state to have a medical marijuana program. In Jackson, Anna Farish, 12 News.